Yes, guys, no long shanks for the intro. He'll be featured later in the playtest, but I'm sitting by myself inside of his apartment. Let me know in the comments below. Am I a friggin' weirdo for that? What can I say? The Trashman faithful, they want their tennis content, and I'm here to deliver, even if that means breaking and entering. But take a look. Two pairs of shoes in front of me from Adidas Parlay. In box one, long shanks, new pair of kicks for the upcoming spring season. And in box two, the California Condor's new shoe of choice. Again, same brand, same family, but different kicks. Today, we're going to compare and contrast to see which pair of shoes reign supreme. For now, cue the up close compilation. So let's start off here with the basics. The weight, 390 grams for the Ubersonics, otherwise known as 13.8 ounces, not even a pound. And of course the barricade is a little bit heavier, 420 grams, 14.8 ounces. They are the more sturdy, beefier offering here. And I'm no foot doctor, Zach, but I'll try my best. As far as the midsole goes, light strike in the oobs compared to bounce in the cades. Supposedly gonna be more durable but it's also going to be more cushioned and heavier. So there's your trade-off. More comfort, but at the price of weight. And then Light Strike, conversely, is going to be a little bit firmer, but you're going to be more fleet of foot. And check that out. The very first Easter egg I noticed on the heels of the barricade, that logo belongs to Tebe Magugu, a South African fashionista of designer, partnered with Adidas last summer during the North American hardcore swing. And there are some pictures of other releases within that same line. As far as the also goes, both of them have a herringbone pattern, but the oobs, divide those into quadrants, if you will, the first and the fourth mirror each other with a tight pattern compared to the second and the third quadrants, which have much more open spacing. And the barricades, look at that, that torsion control breaking up the outsole into two separate pieces, one underneath the balls of the feet, and then the heel, of course and a zigzag and airstrip all the way down compared to the oobs who have one complete piece, no detachment whatsoever. And lastly, let's talk about the lacing system. The barricade is gonna have that asymmetrical system gonna run down the side of your foot. Supposedly that releases the tension more evenly across all the eyelets and it has that traditional tongue. The oobs though, traditional lacing system down the middle, but a sock-like fit on the tongue. Love that new trend. And check out this. Easter egg, another one on the barricades that Adidas logo is going to be on the left foot, but on the right one, check out that logo. For the Oceans is the project, again, that all of this falls underneath. As far as the oobs, the only Easter egg I found, check it out, the QR code, and it leads me to this website, Adidas times Parlay, teaming up to try to take ocean waste, all the plastic, gather it up, I guess they bail it turn it somehow into recycled plastic and then create down the road shoes out of all the garbage. So pretty cool initiative from Adidas. All right, no moment of truth though. On court, before we start smacking some tennis balls around, who wore it better? California Condor, yours truly, the Zegzy man, Adidas through and through on the left with the candy corn colorway on his feet, matching the pop off the shorts and the Adidas logo. Ooh, that's a that's a cool turquoise if I've ever seen one. But on the right, no slouch himself, long shanks, rocking the omelet colorway, matching with the pastel pink shorts. Tell me in the comments again, who wore it better? But now I do have long shanks with me and it's time to talk about performance. Let's kick it off, starting straight out the box, how it felt, the breaking period. Oh man, it felt like I was hopping into some slippers. Again, the, the sock-like feel. Utterly fantastic, so comfortable initially, and then I hate to say it, it took a turn for the worse. On my my pinky toe on the exterior part of the foot, I'm starting to feel some pressure, just too too squeezed, especially when you're cutting and changing direction, and you really put some again high pressure on on that part of the foot. Certainly felt it. Ah, I got I got a fat foot. I hate to say it, I got frogs for feet, and uh, you know I come from the Nike line, which are <laughs> totally narrow. And I was looking forward to these being a little bit wider and more comfortable for my size and my, uh, again, makeup of the, of the feet. Wow, I'm talking about feet too much here. Caleb's feet are definitely a little fatter than mine, uh, but I also have a traditional shoe size 11 in terms of length. My foot is just a little more narrow. Uh, and because of that, these Ubersonics fit like a glove. 
I didn't have my insole, so I was a little lower to the ground, but honestly, the thing I noticed most after playing with the barricades and switching to these was how much of a moccasin it felt like. It didn't feel anywhere near as stiff. It was a whole lot more plush. But these barricades, on the other hand, felt absolutely sturdy. One of my favorite things was the asymmetrical lacing. I do feel that does a great job dispersing the tension amongst my feet. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm a size 11, so I actually got these a size, uh, half a size down in order to accommodate for that body feeling that Caleb seeks and I don't want a part of. So I would recommend dropping down a size if you have a, a, a narrow foot. With that being said, I absolutely loved how stiff and stable and sturdy these shoes were. I felt like it just molded around my foot and there was still a lot of comfort from that bounce sole and I felt I was able to move around the court. Copy that, copy that. Yeah, I definitely agree. Barricade's just gonna be more spacious and lend themselves to the FFF, the fat foot folk like myself, which stinks, because I wanted to like the oobs. They're narrower. They're not Vapor Pro status, don't get me wrong, but gonna be narrow. Snug as a bug in a rug isn't a bad thing, though. It really gives off that sock-like feel, like I was saying. I'll tell you what's not a sock-like feeling on these shoes, and that's the heel tab. After a couple playthroughs, I noticed that digging into my Achilles, providing some mild discomfort. I'm attributing that to this being a stiffer shoe, and requiring more of a break-in period. But with that being said, that is definitely something to watch out for, and I'm hoping it goes away with time. But we've seen a lot of our uh, these shoes today, but what do you think about our footwork? Let me know in the comments who, who has better footwork. I feel like we both do a pretty good job of staying active and light on our feet, but let me know what you think. That is alarming, I will say. I've also heard that same notion about the discomfort straight out the box, tearing up the Achilles uh, from other reviews, so it, stinks that you're confirming that as well it might be the achilles heel of the barricades pun fully intended but then again with the oobs pinching my pinky toe also had their shortcomings out the box in terms of that breaking period so maybe it's just part of the course it is territory for for new shoes after all here's my question for you ben unfortunately for me i'm not a hardcore slider you are i envy you did you notice that these were easier to slide in the barricades than uh other shoes maybe not necessarily the oobs but uh, any other shoes period I wouldn't say these shoes were any easier to slide with than another shoe that I've slid with, um, but I will say the herringbone pattern is definitely more for clay, and these hardcore slides are going to tear your shoes apart no matter what you're doing. And unfortunately, what I'm doing is a clay court slide where I'm sliding into the ball to make the hit rather than hitting and continuing to slide after that in order to stop my momentum and get back into position quickly, which is when you want to be sliding. But other than that, sliding in these shoes was good. Yep, so take a look at the bloody aftermath. The Adi does, the S in that word, taking the brunt of the blow. Salvaging the fabric of the shoe, though, with the more plasticky substance of the letters. Is that genius product design? I'm suspicious that they are indeed up to something with that. Anyways, again, if you want more cushion, more durability, more beefy tanks, but also perhaps clunky, Go with the barricades, higher off the ground, give you that confidence boost that you're a bit taller and intimidating to the enemy. But if you want the lighter, faster, speedier, lower to the ground, sock-like comfort feel of the oobs, there you have plenty of uh, pros to, to draw you in as well. So only you can decide. Those are our findings. We'll stick with it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Remember that Trashman Tennis, all about the tennis trash we've been. See you.